lesson, we're going to adjust the adaptive skin so we can start making some tweaks to the armature. So go ahead and get started. Let's uh, click on the transform palette up here and click on activate symmetry, or you can just hit X on your keyboard to toggle that. Now go ahead and select the move brush from the bottom of the user interface. With that selected, you can now start moving your armature like so. You can also adjust the draw size on the brush. At the top of the palette here, you see the draw size. Uh, you can use that slider to make it larger or you can make it smaller here. But as you're getting started, let's start off large and then we can scale down as we get more detail with the brush size. So let's adjust some features on our armature. Let's just add a little volume here to the thighs. And now let's go into maybe the calves and adjust a little volume there. Now let's uh, take a look and turn him around and take a look at his back and his lower spine and his glutes and kind of adjust all of this area. Now let's take a look at the neck here, give it a little girth. And also think about the jaw and the neckline. Make that a little more defined here, adjust that. Looks good. Okay, tip of the day here. Hold down the Alt key with any brush. This will actually reverse the effects of that specific brush. Now pressing the Alt key when you're using the Move brush will pull all points of the geometry based on normal of the polygon. Let's take a look at how this works. If I move to the front view and I hold the Alt key down on my keyboard while clicking on the head, you'll see that although my mouse is moving to the right because I'm dragging to the right, the geometry I'm affecting is moving towards the camera. I suggest trying this out with the other brushes. That way you can kind of get a feel for how the Alt key works with these brushes. Let's continue to define the shape of this creature a little bit more. Spending time adjusting these larger shapes is a great idea, especially right off the bat. As you progress in detail, it may get harder later on to adjust these larger volumes. So as you work on your model, a good rule of thumb is to start large and then progressively get more detailed. So maybe phase two would be working out smaller volumes, maybe in the arms and shoulders and you know the neck and the facial details. And then really phase three is where you really hone in those minute details. It might be threads or hair or muscle fibers. After you're done moving a piece, it's a good idea to smooth the surface out. By pressing the shift key, you'll see how the brush thumbnail changes. You'll end up using this brush quite a bit so get used to using the shift key. Okay, so hold shift down. You'll notice that the brush core also changes from red to blue. And let's click and drag around the model to soften some of these uh, areas here. Okay, in the meantime, use some of these techniques to hone in your armature and really start creating the framework for your cool creature. Hey, if you like these videos, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Until next time, thanks for watching.